Hello and welcome to the Origami Channel. On today's episode, we will learn how to make a crane. I'm going to start with the white side of the paper facing up and the color on the bottom. Fold it in half. It's going to help you later if you try to line it up as carefully as possible so the edges are even. And whenever you make a fold, really make the crease as sharp and flat as you can. That's the first fold. Next fold is you take this corner and bring it down so that this edge lines up with that edge of the paper. Again, it'll help you later if you take this fold and really flatten it. Second fold. Flip it over, do the same thing. Take this corner, bring it down, so this edge lines up with the bottom and it makes a straight up and down line in the center of the triangle. perpendicular line to make your math teacher happy. So now you have it folded on this side and the other side is exactly the same. The next step is you open it at the bottom where it opens. It's gonna be like a little froggy, opens its mouth. So I'm just gonna turn it and then let the sh mouth shut. Sometimes you have to put your fingers in there if the paper's stuck. But you just basically, all you did was you turned it to the side and are opening the froggy's mouth and then shutting it like that. Okay. Next step is open side facing you, take the corner and then line this edge, the open edge, with the center crease. Like this. this is really going to help you if you make sure that these creases are extra sharp and really flat. So all I did was I took this corner and I folded it. Again, this is the side that's open. I did the same thing to the other side. There we go. Flip it over and do the same thing. Double check the open side facing you. Take this corner, fold it in. Make sure that the crease is as sharp as you can make it. Take the side, fold it in. Make sure the crease is as sharp as you can make it. Now you have a little ice cream cone, a kite, I'm not sure what it is. But two flaps on this side, and two flaps on this side. All right, now we just say that the little ice cream melted in the top of it where there's a triangle right here. Fold over. Wow, ice cream melted. And crease it down. Okay. The next step looks scary, but it's not. You're using all of the folds you made and just kind of opening it and folding it in different direction, but using the same creases. So that sounded scary, but here we go. Unfold the ice cream, unfold these two. Take the side that opens and lift it up. I lift it until I get to that straight line that you made when the ice cream melted. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this fold itself in exactly where the creases already are. I'm not making any new folds, just smoothing it out. The same creases we had already made. Same to the other side. One student likes to call this the canoe. Make like a little canoe sort of. So well, let's do it again on the other side, you'll see what I mean. Unfold this flap, unfold that one. Now you have all of these folds. I'm just turning it inside out. I open it, and then all of the folds just come in with the same exact line that you already made. 
If you're having a hard time, it might be because you didn't make your folds sharp before. And so you might want to go back and then just kind of really sharpen each of the folds. If they're sharp, this shouldn't be too hard. Okay, so now you have the shape, we're almost done. There's one side where there's like two little legs that flap and one side that's attached. We're gonna use the side with the two little leggies. Same fold as we did last time, we take the corner and fold it in to here. The one difference is this time is the only time you don't want to go all the way to the edge. It will actually help you if you don't go all the way to the exact center line. If you leave just a little space there in the middle. It's not a huge deal, but it'll help. Then you do the same thing on the other side. And again, sharpen those creases, flatten them. So, same thing on the other side. Flip it over, fold it in to the center line, but almost all the way, not completely. Flatten the crease, other side. So now you're here and we only have a little bit left. Take one of the little legs and fold it up at an angle. So it's kind of like the, it's going yay and it's sticking its arms up like this. Push it down so that you have a crease right there. You make this kind of shape. Then you're gonna let them back down the little legs and turn it just 90 degrees. Open it right here and then just push this up through and then we close it. So let's do it again on the other side. 90 degrees this way, open it, lift this up through and we close it. This part is hard. This is why we have some helpers in the classroom. They'll show you. You can rewind it and try to see it again. So now it looks exactly the same on both sides. You can choose one of them to be the head. You can choose this one because it's a little smushed. And I'm going to open it right there and just push it down. With that little head. And then take the wings. Peace crane. Peace. 